Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the most awaited feature is try it which is back now in Power BI. I hope you are aware of what does the try it means. If you are not that's what we are going to discuss on this video. But before that if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So when you want to try the Power BI APIs, then on the website in the previous few months back, you were able to see this try it. And then recently they have removed this for some other reasons. And now they have brought it back here and with some changes. So when you click on this try it button, then it will pop up a new screen on the right side. It will ask you to sign in with your Learn account, which is Microsoft Learn account. So they want to integrate this with your Microsoft Learn account and how to do that is basically in two different ways. If you are already signed into your Microsoft Learn account, then you can just click on continue with this account, right? You can click on the try it and then you can click on continue with account. And after that, it will ask you for your Azure tenant to which you want to tie this up. And then you need to select your desired tenant here, for an example, this one, and then you need to click on continue. And after that, it will open up this window and on the top, you can see your name pop up over there. And the other way is actually use a different account. So if you click on the use a different account, then it will ask you for sign in options. You need to click on sign in. Then it will open up a new window. Here you need to select your desired email address and then you need to click on the next options and after that you need to create your profile if you are first time using this one and then you need to click on next and also you need to select your region and contact email address and then click on save so once it is done you are all set to use your microsoft rest APS in microsoft learn account so these are the quick steps which you can use in order to start using these trade options in microsoft rest APIs i hope you like this video if you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.